Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John Suspidia Truder, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, where you join us here in a moment of great instability, because I can't help but notice Hungary, apparently it is Hungary again now these days, is having itself a bit of a rebellion, and Romaine next door is having itself a bit of a rebellion. The Byzantine Empire, bit of a rebellion. Bulgaria is fine though, me and Bulgaria are super chill, but as a result of that, yeah, there's, um... There's a lot of weak claims that could suddenly be pushed, like so many bloody weak claims. So uh, I need to have a think about what I do and don't want to do. But I'm going to be honest, I'm more focused on two things right now. The thing I should be focused on is the succession crisis. By which I mean I'm 62, which is pretty much drop dead any bloody day in Crusader Kings 2. And right now my heir is uh, my grandson. Also named Peyron, but um, he, he doesn't really deserve the name. To be honest, he's more like Peyron before Peyron went up into the Battle of Skull Mountain and came back a mighty, mighty mountain of a man. He is poorly educated, he's frail, envious, and humble, and with good, good reason. Like, when he wanders around saying, oh, I'm, I'm not really very good at anything, um, that's, that's just true. He's not really being humble, he's just, um, he's just being honest there. And second in line, yeah, his brother, Dorotheos, also Peyron's grandson. Him, we don't know too much about yet, but he's been given an education in learning, which is uh, not, not promising. Although he is brawny rather than frail, so that's nice. Third in line, however, is Hector. That one could be more interesting. He's not spectacular, but... He's okay, and more importantly, he's also the husband of the Queen of Bulgaria. We might be able to, uh, yeah, do some interesting stuff there. If he gets out a son, then, uh, yeah, we could actually be in good, good shape. So, uh, watch this space. That's something I should be thinking about, but I'm not thinking about that instead. Well, I was about to say, I'm about to set up a bloodline because I've almost murdered 30 people. But no, apparently I've only murdered 12. So, uh, maybe, like, dueling... Dueling doesn't count for some reason. Because I've clearly got 28 kills, but apparently some of them don't bloody count. Because died in the dungeons isn't good enough. Also, I do like how rule at peace for 30 years is, yeah, 0 out of 30. There has not been a single whole year of peace during Peyron's reign. That's marvellous. Well, in that case, the easiest way to get a bloodline would be, yeah, four more foreign wars. And I can't help but notice, Hungary's currently sort of uh, fragmenting like crazy right now. In fact, there's, yeah, there's the independent nation of Syria up here. Now, can't help but think that might be a really, really nice, easy target for me. This guy's got, like, no troops, no packs. He's only just started existing. This is, uh, this is no problem whatsoever. Right, well, there's a nice, easy foreign war for us. Hang on, just check the state of the economy looks good. Check state of military. Military looks fine as well. We're good for a run out. Also, if the opportunity does present itself, I should nip down over here into Macedon and just start sieging down these guys because, uh, yeah, can't help but notice, you guys are rebels, and uh, these cities have got to be worth some good money if I were to just, you know, go and ransack them. Here we go. Nice, easy, day-ure claim right here. Just sneak more and more territory further and further north. Hang on, just before we uh, do that. Technically, what, uh, what Dutch is this part of? Okay, Siemia, which right now... We don't own any of. Fine. So no one's going to actually want to be receiving that. Right. One nice day you're a war there. And yes, my council. Now I've actually got rid of a glory hound. They're happy to go with that. Lovely. No need for Bulgaria to get involved though. Should be able to handle this nice and easily by myself. Okay. Not the biggest army, but that's more than enough to just walk in here. Despite the mountains. Go. Take this. Walk up there. Take that too. No problem whatsoever. Might even get myself a fair few prisoners uh, for my troubles. This will just be a straight walkover. If we're very lucky, we'll just capture the Duke. Instant victory. I do love being a reaver. So, that will be no problem whatsoever. In fact, oh, you actually don't have any flanks. No. No flanks whatsoever. Okay, bad luck for you. Okay, this first level I'll siege down because it'll take no time whatsoever. But as soon as we're through that, because yeah, that'll take a matter of a month or something, we'll just, yeah, storm these two places. Because apparently they've been sieged recently, so... 
Um, excuse me, what's what's going on down there? Okay, I'm guessing someone's just sieging down a trade port somewhere. Not my problem, just ignore it. Now, just out of interest, if I was going to try and murder Perrin, who'd be on board for that? Okay, good starting point, 30% plot power, and... Uh, not many people are really up for it massively, but plenty of people could be bribed. Problem is, none of them have actually got that much influence. So this could get a bit on the expensive side, to be honest, but do I really need to make this happen? I'm not sure I do. I mean, then again, Perrin is... He's so terrible. How else would we get rid of him? Because he's just like, you know, not in my empire. Okay, not gonna deny, probably should have just tried this first. Now he's an adult, he's willing to just come to my court. Okay, now this is gonna make life much easier. So now, a fair few people who are loyal to me are willing to see him dead. But again, no one too influential. Now there's a possibility I could become a kinslayer if this gets discovered. So, uh, that's bad. That's definitely bad. But on the other hand, I'm like 62. If I die a Kinslayer, does it doesn't even really matter? Oh no, I've actually got a much better plan, at least as a starting point. Payrun, my boy, I'm giving you a chance to get out of this. And when I say a chance, it's a rigged chance. Sorry, this game has been firmly rigged against you. But uh, welcome to life as a commander. You're going to be a commander. And uh, I have handpicked these 23 men for you to command. So uh, now what you're going to do is you're going to take these 23 men and you're going to go and take on this host. All right, have fun with that. Oh, siege number one wins. That is 10 gold right there. So now we can simply begin storming this anytime we're flipping ready. That should take no time whatsoever. Storm the next two. Job done. Minimal losses. Okay, and that is... 100%. Lovely. Nice and easy. So enforce my demand. I get prestige for this. I feel like I don't deserve it, but whatever. I'll just be having that. Thank you. Lovely. This territory is mine. Oh no, there are no troops. Wait, hang on. Yes, there are. Lovely. Right, troops stand down. The Bulgarians want to attack the Altinians. And they want my help to do it. I will say yes to that. How strong are you? About 4,000. Okay, that's a little bit strong. How much do you have? Less than that. Well done. And, oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's happened. Despite starting off as a, a frail nobody who my father would never have expected to join the Champions of Payrunner, not only have I done it and lived up to my namesake, I have now become the champion of the Champions of Payrun. That's me. Payrun, this is all very confusing, but I am now the leader. Oh, this is, this is marvellous. Also, I totally forgot that I'm allowed to pick a military aspect, so I'm assuming from what it's saying there, duelist, hunter, or strategist. Okay, I'm willing to do that. Yep, give up 150 renown for that. Oh, these are, these are really good. Okay, so duelist is wow. Marshall plus three, just immediately. Really damn nice. Strategist. Defense, marshal up, stewardship up. Okay, that's nice too. Alternatively, hunter. That one's not so interesting, I'd say. Pursuit plus 20% is fine, but next to, yeah, defense plus 20%. That's gotta be for the better. Then again, Julius does get me the highest amount of marshal. No, you know what? I wouldn't say no to more stewardship. I am going to take Strategist. And that is another very, very powerful, unique perk for me right there. Ooh, apparently it gets better yet. I can actually choose how I'm going to learn how to be a strategic leader. So, okay, learning plus one or diplomacy plus one. Yes, I'm more of a visual learner. Just kind of puts it into pretty pictures for me. So that is for, okay, about two years. I actually get that. Also, I believe I might just have uh, lost a lost a battle over there. And does anyone know what happened to the troops who immediately lost? What happened to them? Okay, so Peyron lost. His troops were annihilated, but he bravely ran away. Good, 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 good. Ooh, but this is nice. The King of Hungary at 49 is now 
incapable. Oh, he is, uh, he is wide flipping open. But don't do that, that's a lot of prestige to lose. Just stand back, wait for this nonsense to happen by itself, alright? He's falling apart already. Also, congrats to Bulgaria for beginning a war that they actually are incapable of winning. Again. So, I guess I'll be coming to help out. Again. Right, all troops, stand up please. Gather, gather, gather. We need to go and save Bulgaria. Again. This is actually getting more important now, because, yeah... Depending on what we can do in terms of uh, succession, uh, it may well be possible that in a generation we can actually inherit Bulgaria, bring it into the fold. Also, plan number two for Payrun. In theory, if I could just duel him, then I could absolutely flipping murder him. But to do that, we need to uh, hate each other. So, okay, Payrun, I've got a new job for you. You shall now be my court jester. Dance for me. Dance for me, you stupid idiots. And on top of that, we will begin antagonizing them. So uh, let's just start, you know, slowly annoying this guy. Because if we can just make him a rival or a foe, then at that point, dueling is on the cards. And that, that's not murder. That's like honor or chivalry or something. And meanwhile, perfect scenario over here, the armies invading Bulgaria are both standing on the wide open Bulgarian plains. So that should be no problem whatsoever. Oh, and there we go. Finally, I have actually picked up, yes, the legend of the champions of Payrun going up, but strategist. Oh, just look at this. Flat terrain expert, organizer, pillar of the plains, strategist, everything is just amazing. Just look at those bloody combat modifiers. This is, uh, this is beautiful. This is just beautiful. And looks like that host is naffing off as well. That works for me. What do you actually want here? Some technology. How much money? 30 gold? Uh, yeah, you may have that. That's A-OK. -okay. Hopefully there's some military tech points in that. And we are now marching out to utterly destroy these two armies uh, one by one. Oh no, not the disadvantage of crossing a river. However, shall Peyron fighting on the plains manage to overcome this terrible, terrible disadvantage? I do not know whatever we shall do. Oh look, their centre seems to be collapsing because they're taking on Peyron on the plains. This is, this is beautiful. Yeah, you know what? If you want to come in and try and reinforce, you flip and do it. You try it. Alright, I will annihilate all of you, with no trouble whatsoever. You have arrived a day late and a dollar short, my good man. Now I can just start mopping up all of you and potentially putting you to death because that's kind of what I need to do, actually. So there we go. Got a good victory. Didn't capture anybody. That's a surprise. Right, bare minimum. Just immediately take this place back. Okay, that place has now been relieved. That means we can move straight on to knocking over all of this territory. Lovely. War has been salvaged. You're welcome. Ooh, slight problem though. Apparently the supply limit here is catastrophically low. Yeah, move troops out of this area, please. There is like no food to forage at the minute. So naff off over there and there we go. Peyron and I might share the same blood and indeed name. We've always been of very different minds. So uh, he is uh, utterly disgraceful. Or oh, this is beneath me. No, I am going to tell everyone he sucks and I hate him. Ooh, as it turns out, he's furious. And it looks to me like the surviving forces are trying to now counter-invade uh, my territory. I'll leave them be for the time being, because if they're planning to go down to Zeta, then perfect. That's basically a trap. And my marshal attempts to invent an armoured chariot. It was garbage, but at the bare minimum, yeah, there were some military tech points to get out of it. Okay, this guy is just calling in more and more flipping troops, but if he wants to actually, yeah, try and take on the Bulgarians on the plains, uh, I guess we better go and reinforce, just because we should be able to handle that pretty easily. We're going to be moving in in, uh, hang on, 31st. You're going to be moving in right now. Okay. Basically, you've been caught on the plains again, so I'll just be annihilating you, and if we're lucky, capturing your king. Oh, that legend bar's doing well as well. I don't know what happens when it hits max, but I kind of want to know. Okay, my liege loves me and he's sending me giant piles of money because I'm so amazing at murder, 
And on top of that, I'm pretty sure I've just killed uh, some more flipping people. Yep, more people dead there, lovely. So, 15 prestige, or 10, together with kind. I swear I've had kind on and off so many times. Kind is pretty good, though, so, uh, yeah, sure, why not? I'll be having kind back again, and this should be, uh, yeah, absolutely flipping, collapsing once more. Lovely. Also, apparently, me and the High Chief are now bitter enemies because he's heard how I refuse to take the head of my enemy as a trophy. Which means he's now... Oh, he's actually wearing a bear as well. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Am I your boss over in the society? I am as well. He's actually in second place in the society. I'm pretty sure he's actually next in line. Right, well, we won't be having that. Because you've got yourself personal combat skill of six. And I've got myself personal combat skill of... 71. Okay, well if we're bitter enemies, I'm happy to see this through. Bear on bear. Ah, not allowed while we're at war. Okay, as soon as this war's over, me and you are settling this. Also, where on earth are my prisoners? Why am I not capturing people? Here we go. Two armies, many commanders. I'm a reaver. Just take them the flip apart. Center's already basically gone. One of the wings is collapsing. They're doing one on the other wing because... Okay, what happened to my other commander? I've lost a commander somewhere. That's absolutely fine. Even without a commander, my troops just win regardless. I think the other guy may have died because possibly that's his son or something. I'm not sure. Right, we might need some, uh, some more commanders again. Not a brilliant selection really, but you'll do just for now. Oh, yep, there it is. It was Arsenios. He passed away. That is illness. Yeah, complications related to gout. He was 57. So there is now, unfortunately, a child. And he's looking... For 15, hasn't he got an education? That's not terrible. He is strong, well-groomed, just chaste. He'll do. He'll flip and do. But yes, he is actually... Gay and also... Actually, no, that's fine. His wife is not that much older than him. She's only 16. I was wondering whether, yeah, she might be significantly older. So there might be problems with her being old and him being gay with them having children. But no, he should still be able to get out the odd child. Anyway, this war's nearly over at this point. 92%. We're going to be able to capture... Okay, some people. We got away from the rest of them. Okay, I'm capturing somebody. I'm capturing flipping somebody during this war. Alright, do not pretend I'm not. Also, something just changed colour. Next door, does anyone know? Ooh! That wasn't hungry, was it? Hang on, what's all of this? And no, no it's not. That's just a small state that doesn't get a name. Okay, it's Magyar, but it doesn't have a name. I turned the map off and on again, and it still doesn't. Also, I need a new bishop, apparently. Okay, interesting. This isn't really important, so... Yeah, you seem fine with me anyway. Let's just see if there's anyone in the world who might actually be, you know, a nice loyalist. Someone who really likes me. Here we go. Somebody who is Greek. They are orthodox. They seem to like me already. Yep, both brave, long reign, state diplomacy. Welcome aboard. Oh, the game's saying he might be a glory hound. Okay, but if you really, really like me, what you're going to do right now is, one, get them with cultural text. That's all anyone ever does. Uh, but two, how would you feel about being... Okay, we might need to replace you. I was kind of hoping you'd be a loyalist. Also, we're fighting another battle over there, including one-on-one, -on -one, me versus Mr. Poison Tooth over there. And if we just capture him and execute him, that'd be great. But no, gets away once more. Anyway, time for me to uh, go home. There's not enough supply around here for my liking. And there we go. Queen Philippa wins the war and... Oh, you literally just wanted one bit of territory. I was kind of assuming you were going to be after, like, you know, the whole thing, but fine, I guess. Also, we do have a fairly significant host over here, so... Uh, okay, before we break down the army, just let them recharge a little bit. Head over there, they're standing on the plains, this should not be difficult. Unless, of course, the Emperor's heading in this position, no. He's busy over here in Greece, unfortunately. It does rather look like the vultures are circling hungry. At the minute, by the way. Everybody's decided they want in on this nonsense. And damn right, you better run. Just gonna double check whether he's coming straight back again before we actually break our forces apart. Okay, you're currently technically not actually in my territory. 
You're in Hungarian territory. But you do sort of like, yeah, not really care about borders. So uh, I might just go and murder you regardless. Yeah, we're just going to move in and take you out. On the planes, I am not flipping worried. So we're just going to be uh, handling that right now. You can just, yeah, I thought so. You can just fall apart. And yeah, with a personal combat skill of 21, basically screw you, I think I'll just kill you. And show no mercy, get myself more dual battlefield experience and one additional murder to my name. Alright, I want more damn murders. Wait, that's only... Okay, that's gotta be a murder because I had the option to show him mercy, but I didn't take it, so... Alright, fine, whatever. The game's very fussy about what is and isn't a murder. Right, break down the troops, send these guys home just to chill out and relax. And yes, because for some reason taking Perrin off the horses is impossible because there are none. What I need to do is I need to flick him off and on again. So I just need to say, you can't fight. Oh wait, hang on. Yes, you can. And now he's back at the castle, but no one's here. But yeah, you just kind of get stuck in the middle because you can't take him off an army that doesn't exist. It's very odd. Okay, one of the civil wars is now over, meaning yes, now there's just a second one and... Okay, where are you going right now? I don't like the fact that you're... Bloody hell. Right, there's just hosts everywhere. Oh, and here's interesting. Right now, the leader to become the next emperor is in fact Daniel, not Sabas. Okay, Daniel, how good are you? You are terrible. Why is it anybody voting for flipping Daniel over Sabas? Sabas is far better. I'll admit, I can understand why the Emperor would not be voting for the person who is currently, well, he's not really rebelling, people are rebelling on his behalf, but I can see how you'd be suspicious, yes. Oh, and it's a sad day today, plenty of the old guards are going down, so, uh, Burbat the Kind. Oh, we loved Burbat the Kind, he was great, but, uh, no, instead, we have now got a new Duke up north, not particularly powerful and... Not particularly good at anything either. That's a shame. Burbat had a really important role on the council. He was a great chancellor. Luckily, he doesn't actually want to be on the council. This guy's fine just being up here doing his own thing. So, no big problem. Also, just quickly top up the actual levy. Now we've topped up the garrison over here in Sirmia. No one actually wants that place because no one's got, like, the right duchy for it. So, I may as well hold on to it for me. Just because, yeah, that is more personal troops. The army has taken a bit of a battering, but should be recovering fairly fast. Also, the game apparently doesn't count my small war against Hungary as a foreign war. Which, I feel like it should do, because it was a war against someone who wasn't inside my territory. So why is that? Okay, forging a bloodline is weird. Also, just send a bit of gold over to my wife. Just make sure she's nice and on site. Give her an honorary title as well. Yes, you may keep the swans. We just need to get down to business and get some sons out, damn it. Ah, uh, this is nice though. The Ragusans, who actually have a very decent amount of uh, troops floating around. Uh, hang on, that is, that's not my territory. That's my territory. Yeah, you guys have got a decent army. So you're going to go and deal with these raiders by yourself. Well done. Ooh, this is nice though. The young Duke of Bosnia literally just came of age. And he is actually, yeah, not terrible at the old diplomacy. You are welcome aboard. All right. Me and your dad, we got on really, really well. So I hope we do as well. Also, just send him straight back down to Athens. I know I've got a claim on Athens I can't really do anything with. What I really want him to do is capture the claim on the duchy. Because once I've got the duchy, I can start trying to revoke the claims or otherwise engineering it that Athens falls into my hands. Ah, yes, that reminds me. You, me and you need to have a nice chat. So, jewelers have not recently been involved in a duel. Okay. I've not recently been involved in a duel. Why exactly are you... Ooh. You're hunting the white bear, not the white stag. That's a nice touch. Okay. Just wait a bit of time. Maybe in the year 941 we can do that duel and settle this nonsense between us. And okay. Okay, okay, okay. While I'm planning to potentially kill my eldest grandson, like this, keep an eye on the other one. Okay, he's come of age too, and apparently he sort of, he hates me. So primogeniture, zealous. Okay, you are... You're not as bad, then again, bloody hell. Education level one, brilliant, spot on. Brawny, paranoid, and zealous. 
Okay, but would you like to come to court? Yes, yes you would. Marvellous. So Peyron is increasingly hating me as I actually turn against him. And uh, yes, I believe we've now got ourselves... Are you actually in my court yet? No, we're just waiting for you to agree. But we know you will be coming. Then I'm going to have both of these people... There we go. Both of these people who we need to... Uh, get out of the way, are now uh, located in my courts. Except now he's decided he, um, he likes me after all. Okay, possibly it's just because of, ah, personal diplomacy. I'm just a charismatic bastard, I'm not gonna deny. Oh, and check him out, he's gone flipping native, he's a Catholic. Peyron, meanwhile, he stayed orthodox. So, okay, you really need to go down. And I suspect everyone's gonna be, well, hang on, can we actually, no. He's not even willing to convert for me. What the hell? Okay, you seem nice and easy to murder. And yes, because he's totally the wrong religion, everyone's on board with this. Nobody likes this, kid. Right, we're just going to make it happen. If it turns out I am a kinslayer, then I don't have that long to live. So it's fine. My own wife is on board. Of course she is. She wants to clear out the board for some younger people i.e. her children potentially. Oh my dear Catholic grandson, I'm so sorry but I think you just walked into the wrong side of town. Oh bloody hell, apparently it's already time. Okay, we only started planning this yesterday but we've managed to get hold of a viper almost suspiciously fast. I'm beginning to suspect that this kid just had a viper to hand. He like knew this was coming. We haven't even flipping got everyone on board yet. Hang the flip on. Now, Am I going to get lucky here? Are we looking at uh, Kinslayer or not? And if so, honestly, that's fine. It's going to help me slowly build up towards a legendary bloodline, potentially. Okay, that failed, unfortunately, but no one suspects me. So this is, this is fine. Everything's under control. We're trying to assassinate him. That's A-OK. -okay. At the same time as we're just slowly, oh, okay, poisoned white. We are making fast progress here. This is this is very fast indeed. Marvellous. And to celebrate the imminent death of my terrible, terrible grandson, a drinking contest. Huzzah! Also, I'm going to say it is downright risky for us to be running our own personal drinking contest at the same time as organising a poison the wine plot to murder What's-His-Face and uh, another cocking failure. Ah, of course. Hang on. He's paranoid, isn't he? Yes, that's... That's understandable. He's going to be difficult to kill. And someone wins the drinking contest. We're going to give him some praise. How are we doing? 76% up to the mysterious legend bar. Oh, oh, hang on. Me and you. Can we flip in? Yes! It's flipping time. Some characters will consider this challenge beneath you because of his age. I'm going to be honest. He's the same age as me. Oh, he's accepted the jewel with his skill of 9 and mine of 75. Let's flipping fight. And the legend is rising too. Okay, what's going on here? My eyes hurt. Sometimes it doesn't seem as bad as what my opponent is suffering. I'm not done, he says. But then he lies back on the ground, throwing his short sword to the side. When I step closer, he splutters. No, no, I'm done. I yield. Okay, so I actually pick up Wounded and Black Eye, which is uh, not so bad. He, however, was severely injured. He is now uh, one-handed, so... Uh, okay, not sure whether this, like, you know, settles the deal between us or not. I was hoping to kill him, but sadly, not an option. Still, that uh, Black Eye, that'll wear off in, uh, yeah, about nine months or thereabouts. And I'm slightly wounded, but nothing too bad there, and... Okay. Crusade for Jerusalem. This is... This is very good news. Because guess who holds Jerusalem right now? It's the same idiot who's getting in the way of me having a nice holy war to reclaim Turkey. This... This I am very, very much in favour of. This is good news. Actually, I did just remember. We need a brand new commander, don't we? So... Okay, summon a lodge commander. So, uh, who's actually shown up here? Wow. Okay, not bad in the slightest. 21 Marshall also comes with a Pillar of the Plains. Me and you, we can be friends. Also, we are up for a law change here. So, yeah, 
as everyone likes it, just keep centralization moving up because you do not need this damn many vassals. You do not need that many. So uh, just send that over to the council. They'll approve that, no problem whatsoever. And more domain size for me. And special tithes too. Oh, that's that was a nice big amount right there. Okay, we're celebrating that. There we go. They've approved that by actually giving ourselves, uh, yeah, some nice uh, big old buildings right here. What do I want to give myself for my capital? 1,700 menace levy here. Lovely. Just flipping lovely. I tell you what, keep 15% garrison and levy. That is huge. So we're going to be doing that. And on top of that, okay, famous writer from my family chronicles. Okay. So 15% for Humble, or 15% for Proud. Proud is fine, to be honest, so yeah, give him some patronage. We'll see if his epic tale of me turns out okay. Okay, yet another plan. This time, Euphemia has come up with the plan of Highwayman. Job done. Looks like we have got ourselves one dead grandson, and nobody is the wiser. We're going to update that he's dead in a minute. There we go. The following day, the terrible news arrived. He's dead under suspicious circumstances that were not suspicious at all. Okay, that now means Hector is almost at the front of the queue. And also there's a 13-year-old kid over in, like, the Netherlands. So that's, that's good, I guess. Hector is also popping out a giant pile of children, all daughters so far, but that's fine for the time being. Plenty of daughters is very useful for arranging, you know, marriage alliances and whatnot. So now, we just need to get rid of Perrin. Okay, how are we going to make this happen? Would anyone be okay if I just straight up imprisoned him? No, people do not want me to do that. And who'd have thunk it? All the same people that backed the plot last time seem to be pretty cool with it on this occasion. Not quite so much in terms of, yeah, plot power, but that should be more than enough. Yeah, I'm just a bit worried. I'm getting too old right now, so uh, it's time. It's time to speed this up, even if it's a bit risky. Also, apparently I've got a Bulgarian skull in my treasury. Okay, yeah, right now I'm just using a basic heavy dirt blade, which feels... Not good. I should save up some money, get myself a smith in, make some nice stuff. Okay, it's nowhere near as much plot power, but it should still be enough to kick off a plot. Okay, let's keep an eye on this. The dynasty down south. Your actual... Ooh, hello. Your decadence is slowly starting to creep up. That could be positive in the long run. And uh, here we go. So... Everyone's on board with the crusade. I love a good crusade. That's great. Right now, no one's really arrived, but give it time. People are just going to be flipping, piling in right here. And this is relatively a good time. I mean, I would like to take this territory right here. Reclaim the coast. That's got to be some good territory. The alternative is here. Hang on. Either of these really, like... Better than the other, like three holdings, uh, four holdings. Oh, so many holdings, yes, right there. Also, that's recently been uh, sieged down, so easy pickings. Okay, how much military do I have? About 6,000 men and 2,700 more through my vassals, which is fine, but maybe I could do with a bit more. Can I borrow some more money? And why not? No. Because my liege already expelled the Jews, there is no one to actually lend me money. A bit of a shame. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have like done the, the massive series of investments. Because I might need that money for mercenaries. Unless this guy really gets his ass kicked. That's what we need to be watching for. We need to be watching for major ass kicking in this part of the world. Then again, hang on. How about you go down over here and study the technology of Jerusalem. Jerusalem's got some uh, good solid tech going on, so you just study that and keep an eye on what's going on in that part of the world. Also, the commander I just brought in from the champions apparently blabs to everyone. The game's saying, oh, you shouldn't have invited the drunken blabbermouth. He's, he's not a drunkard. He's not in the slightest. There's no evidence he even likes a drink. Okay, so Perrin is now not keen on me because I attempted to murder him. 
Am I officially a kinslayer yet? I'm not sure I am because I haven't actually, you know, attempted to murder him. Okay, but is he actually my... Ooh. Apparently I've got, like, another rival. Am I allowed to duel you? Oh, yeah, let's just duel you. And, oh, hang on. There's, there's all sorts of considerations. Ah, he's a priest. Don't just, like, stab priests. People don't like it. Okay, the rebellion is starting to go in favour of the existing emperor. I could really do with this rebellion wrapping itself up quickly because he has got plenty of troops here. He could go straight into holy war mode. We could get some serious gains back. And, uh, okay, this guy who I sent down to uh, Jerusalem to actually spy, he's doing a very good job. And by the way, there's actually some good forces to show up here. England showed up, had their asses handed to them immediately, but they're doing a good job wearing these guys down. This is what we wanted to see. We wanted to see slowly, 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 troops are being a bit battered down. Mercenaries being a bit battered down. And, oh, okay. The English king has now shown up with everybody else too. So now, now there's plenty of cocky troops here. And, uh, okay, he potentially, ooh, he potentially wants me dead. Bitter rivals. Okay, I think we're happy with this. Uh, no, don't keep antagonizing him. I think we're done. Okay, so we now hate each other, which is really good news uh, because it means uh, we can attempt to uh, duel him. Spot on. All right, kid. Let's see what you've flipping got because it ain't much. I mean, I would like to get a better sword first, but yeah, there is the problem of uh, that's going to cost money. I really should be saving up for mercenaries. And here comes some more flipping Catholic armies. Go! Go, you magnificent bastards! Trash these idiots! This is precisely what we need to say. Oh, hold the flipping phone here. So, as it turns out, my patriarch is... Hang on. Hang the flip on. The local patriarch works for me. That's... That's surprising. How long's that been the case? Okay, one of the three patriarchs of orthodoxy just works for me and thus will basically give me whatever the hell I want. Well, this is... this is marvellously good news. That's the guy I just invited to court. I didn't realise he was like one-fifth of a pope, but apparently he is. Yes, please excommunicate my useless stupid son. There we go. Let's just get that confirmed because once he's excommunicated... I'm guessing everything's up for grabs. Guys, he's like a rebel. He's unholy. I can't believe this. I'm shocked. I'm shocked and appalled that my own jester would be a heathen. Let's burn him to death. All right, so all of a sudden, the one-fifth of a pope who just gave me permission to excommunicate this guy and agreed he was a heathen is opposed to flipping imprisoning him. Let's try dueling him. We might just be able to straight up murder him immediately. Okay, if I just wait till the beginning of July, the black eye wears off and then I'm a little bit better at fighting, which is for the better. We're going to try and just duel my grandson. I know I'm old, but we might get lucky and just straight up murder him. And more Catholics are just passing through. This is marvellously good news. There we go. Just get rid of that and... Okay, hang on. Despot 2. Okay, I was worried there for a second. Despot, to remember, does sound a lot like, you know, I'm dying, which in all fairness is probably happening. I am 65. Okay, I've still got the wound because I'm technically wounded, but Black Eye has worn off. Hang on, this is just my ambitions. I've, I've already got an ambition set, but I'm going to, like, reinforce it just to see if that, like, you know, provides me with any new opportunities. So... Yep, Forged Bloodline. That's what I was already trying to do. Okay, the dynasty down here is down to 13,000 troops. They've definitely had a bit of a battering, but for the moment at least they don't seem to be uh, fronting up. And uh, my son Hector. Yes, indeed. It's probably a good idea that me and him start uh, building some new relations because, uh, yeah, just um, FYI, there's a bloody hell. Right, Bulgaria. Just for one cocking second... Could you take care of yourself? I'm pretty sure that's the girl I displaced back in the day. Okay, step one, deal with Peyron. He has accepted the challenge and the duel. Oh, 
Oh, here we go. Yes, yes, I'm swinging my weapon wildly when suddenly Peyron shrieks in pain. And I'm stuck staring at the mess I've made. And I've managed to make his eyes bleed. Possibly, ooh, blinding him. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Is he definitely blinded? Because if he's definitely blinded, that's all I needed to do. But it doesn't say blind. So uh, I'm going to be honest. Uh, this is this is the best option here. Goodbye, my useless, useless, stupid grandson. And I have a new heir. The king of Bulgaria. Okay, now... Now life's suddenly looking pretty good here. This guy apparently is not desperately keen on me. I did admittedly kill some people. Yes, I'm a kinslayer. I am formally a kinslayer at this point. So that's that's a thing. So that's diplomacy minus 5, general opinion minus 10, and dynasty opinion minus 25. It was worth it. I did it for you, Hector. I did it for you. Also, apparently there's another pay run in the cocky dynasty. Hang on, which one's that one? Who's he? That is... Okay, that's the son of... Ah, Anna. So my grandson via Anna. Got it. Well, keep an eye on him. Maybe he'll turn out alright. I'm gonna be honest, the, um, the negative debuffs are starting to, uh, stack up a bit here. So, yeah, dishonorable duel, ruthless, title claimant, foreigner, religious differences... Kinslayer, known murderer, merciless, and I am actually wearing a blood-soaked bear right now. I'm beginning to suspect that Peyron may have gone a bit off the rails. Possibly Peyron's only called the wise by people who are too scared to let him know that the evil is his actual title. Okay, but plenty of this will wear off in the next decade. We just have to make it through the next decade without everybody rising up against me. Hey guys, guess what it's time for? That's right, completely flipping meaningless titles that come with free money. You, my good man, are the master of the horse. And you shall be the master of the hunt. And you shall do something, something, something. It's not 100% clear. Who else is important? We need to give these to important people, damn it. Uh, you, Braslev, you are now the High Almoner. And you... You, meanwhile, shall be a uh, Viserion. Yes, the new Duke of Pex. Oh, I used to get on so well with your dad as well. You shall be that guy. There we go. Everybody's got to be happy with that. Okay, just in case things go a bit too much on the wrong side here. Okay, who... Who is still cool with me? The King of Dardania up north. I'm going to make him designated regent because uh, he seems pretty chill with me right there. So we've handed out a bunch of positions uh, just to try and uh, settle things up a bit here. Minus 17. Okay. Minus 17 for you. I can see how you're not keen on me right now. But I can see how we might be able to uh, help you out with this business. Oh, bloody hell. The weak claims are piling up. Yes, as soon as we hit 946 and are allowed to go to war with Hungary again, I can start pushing some claims here, helping out all of you guys, giving you some extra free stuff. And for the time being, I've got so much military, there's not much they can do to me. And uh, Hector, next door, he is, well, he's not spectacular, but he's an okay military leader. So, uh, on that basis, he might actually be able to uh, hold things together. This is good enough for now. Also, continue improving the troops, please. More and more morale and defense for my infantry. And here's a nice thing, noble customs. That's a free plus three to general opinion from my nobles. Good, we need to keep those guys on side. Uh, who else hates me, by the way? Kind of everybody, so just actually make sure we just boost these up to two. So that should, that should help sort things out a bit as well. And hang on. Here we go. Cities and temples. That's, ah, city tax. No, I'd rather, I'd rather save up for, yeah, more tax here than again. That's cheap to do. Screw it. Make it happen. We'll get a little bit more money out of our city taxes and temples as well. Also, archers and light cavalry. Actually, that's a big increase in light cavalry attack and I've got a lot of that. So yeah, boost that. Okay. That's a nice increase to the military right there, especially in, yeah, 
the capital. Because the capital has got a lot of flipping troops. So uh, that's going to be a lot of good quality troops right there. Okay, time for Bulgaria. We need to go and make sure Hector stays on the throne. I'm not having him and his wife being dethroned right now. Here we go, offer to help. The council doesn't need to actually be asked about that because I'm just honouring existing alliances. Boom. Right, let's get out there and kick all of this lot's ass. All troops form up at Arsa. We'll just go and attack their capital directly. Deal with their armies should be lovely. And there we go. Now we know what's going on. We can see this over here. Forest. Not plains, unfortunately, but not so bad either. Definitely better than mountains. Arguably, this is overkill. But I'd rather just make sure this is taken care of. And... Okay. Peyron has left the earth. And while everything will be better without him... I now have lots of extra time on my hands that I was dedicating to hating my own grandson. So uh, his skull would look excellent on my mantle place. Well, I already have a skull inside my treasury. I could add a second one. And uh, okay, I could just pick a new person to actually hate for some reason. The Doctor of the Byzantine Empire. Um, that's a bit weird. I'd like to change my ways, so uh, the rivalry between me and... Yes, this random shaman could come to an end. That would be good, or alternatively, uh, no more. How much is that skull I've already got actually doing for me? Just out of interest. It's a tiny amount of prestige. It's not... it's not that good. I tell you what, let's get this rivalry out of the way too. I can do with less rivalries. But still, at long last, the succession is sorted. I have got myself a competent, if unspectacular person, waiting to take over. He's picked up diligent in the meantime. I mean, I tell you what, 15 martial and 33 personal combat skill. It'll do as a starting point. It's not bad. Right, bring Miletios along. My old guy who I brought in can stay. He's been doing a good job. And me right in the flipping center with, oh my goodness, bloody hell. Bloody, bloody hell, guys. Right, march straight over there, deal with all of that good stuff. People are trying to kill other people, that's absolutely fine. You're just slowly recovering over there, that's a okay. You take down their capital, I'll knock out the army, then we'll deal with the rest of it by ourselves. Does anyone know what this war was actually um about, by the way? What was this war actually uh, about. Okay, it was just you deciding you were going to be a dick and capture Bulgaria because in all fairness it did used to belong to you, yes. And would you believe we're cutting straight through them despite the fact it's in a forest. So I'm actually fronting up to her directly at this point. If we were lucky we might just be able to uh, get her immediately. If we could we might just be able to uh, execute her which would remove her from yeah potentially uh, causing this problem again down the line and I'm really sucking at capturing people these days. Also you didn't need to come and help. I really had that in hand. Now what is going on? Oh my. Now this is what I want to see down by Jerusalem. It turns out there is an absolutely flipping massive fight here. This is, this is good. This is very good right here. Admittedly, those aren't, those aren't your troops. Okay, so there might be, yes, that's a different guy's troops, which is fine, which is absolutely fine. The Crusaders can just send more troops. I don't care if Catholicism bleeds itself dry. Also, the 20% of a Pope wants to apparently get me a Philosopher. 50 culture tech points for 100 gold. Yeah, do it. Though I'm a bit worried we are, um, we're losing money pretty fast here. We kind of need to, uh, wrap this one up. And Zeta is just prospering. Good, that's more money right there. Meanwhile, what have we actually got here? Being on my Legis Council is not easy. So, what's going on here? A mayor has shown up to help. Okay. So, oh. Then again, how much damage can he do with a favour? Really, I don't think he can do that much. I'm not becoming stressed. No, stressed is dangerous at my age. Oh dear. Zeta is apparently potentially going to start, yes, revolting at some point. Keep an eye on that. Zeta, by the way, is... Uh, it's still Serbian and Slavic. It's never actually uh, changed round at all. Okay. We need to finish taking this city. That was worth, uh, yeah, a big old pile of gold right there. That is good. Do we want to bother taking 
the rest of it. Actually, this is already at 99%, so I'm just going to chase down their queen and see if we can just get lucky and capture her. She's basically already done, I believe that is... No, that's Forest again, but screw it, it should still be a very, very easy victory, and... Okay, so Duke Martina II has usurped the title of Duchy of Epirus from uh, Count Braslav Usurper. Is that a problem? I'm not sure if this is a problem. So yeah, this guy who I made the Duke of Epirus, he now just controls this tiny bit of land up here. That's not important, he's no longer actually the Duke of Epirus, meaning uh, now... This guy, who still works for me, considers himself important. Okay, so you're actually not bad in terms of maybe being a spy master. You've got yourself a county, a county. You've got the duchy. Fair enough, to be perfectly honest. I mean, that makes sense. If you've got the two counties, you deserve the duchy. And on top of that, he's actually got himself a strong claim on the duchy of Sardinia and a weak claim on county of Costa. Okay, you're not having that. Me and the Bulgarians are friends, but Sardinia could go and maybe take a bit of land over there. Why not? Okay, now, are these people all? These people are important. Do not execute them. The Bulgarians will be furious. And when I say they're important, you're only actually paying 10 gold. For the queen cocking mother? Okay, that's just cheap. She can just stay in prison for a bit. And we're up to 96% in the legend of the Champions of Payrun. We're almost there. Get in there, murder these individuals, capture her if you can. This should be 100% right here. And that's it. That's gotta be it done. You're welcome. Don't worry, Bulgaria. I will always be there for you. And better and better, we captured literally everybody. But I feel like we don't actually um need them. Because we've totally already won. So, while I still can, I'm just going to try and, uh, yeah, sell these people. 250 gold! I'll be having that, thank you. Please buy your way out of prison. That is fine. I'm happy to just kick your ass again. Alright, give us the money. Thank you. 25 gold for you. Yes, I will sell you all of these individuals. Alright, I will gladly sell you everybody right back. And last one, the Queen Mother for only 10. And with that, the job is done. And oh. Okay, no it's not. It's now back down to 65%. Fair enough, I guess. Okay, we'll just go and capture her again. Ooh. And I'm getting older. I'm no longer wrathful because, uh, yeah, apparently it's just a bit on the, uh, the stressful side for me. Okay, fair enough. But that means... My stats are starting to go down. I'm getting old. I'm still good. These are still really good stats, but I'm not as good as I used to be. Time is just ticking by. Okay, nice easy victory there. I wouldn't mind this war being like, you know, over sooner rather than later. So we do need to keep an eye on this business. How's this stupid war going on? The Crusade. 15% in favour of the Pope. Interesting. And most definitely, some vassals have had a bit of a pounding here. Good. Good, good, good. Keep an eye on this. No rush. Let the crusade drag on. This'll do. We take the capital, we raid it for a bit of money, we head straight down south, we kick their asses again. There we go. 14 gold for that. Move down there. Kick her ass. No problem. Oh, and it's happened. The start of a legend. So, for the champions of Payron, I proclaim, raising my glass. The cheers around the table are boisterous. The air hangs heavy with anticipation. There is nothing left here to conquer, someone laughs. Raising an eyebrow, Sophia mutters, No. Are you crazy? Am I allowed to just start my own cocky crusade? I mean, I see no reason why not. Yeah, pagan crusade into the Holy Land. Do it. And when I say do it, I don't really want to be involved, FYI. I just want, like, somebody else to do it for me. And you'll be blocked from rising up to hero again. No, I am not being demoted to veteran. Do it! Pay gun crusade! Pay gun crusade! Okay, um, apparently I've got to go and take care of this. <laughs> I've just, uh, okay. I may have got a bit over my head here. I may have said some things about invading the Middle East I shouldn't have said. Um... Things are now getting a bit out of hand. 
So, uh, okay, my marshal was concerned about our troops being without leadership, so uh, leave your heavy dirt blades behind as a token of continued guidance. So, okay, weapon could use some love, 67 gold, and that gets improved. I'll take that, plus great progress on the legendary journey. Meanwhile, extremely good diplomacy means upgraded again, which is nice, so I get it anyway, but I don't have to pay for it, so that's good, and also great progress. I trust you'll take care of it, that's just progress, or not letting anyone touch this weapon. Honestly, I could do with an improved weapon, that's fine. So, uh, yes, destroy that, let's get a nice upgraded heavy blade. Okay, so I picked up Knife of the Terrain, so combat skill plus 11, monthly prestige plus 0.5, Legion of Centaur plus 25%. I tell you what, get it equipped, sure, why not? And equip this skull, no, I'm not allowed to equip the skull, that's a shame. Also, we are fighting a battle right now, by the way, but it's honestly barely even an afterthought at this point. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Could we uh, capture her again, please? I'd gladly sell her for another, we just captured her again. Yeah, we've... We've got her again. Good, 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 good. And also, uh, seek out and jewel... Hang on, who's this kid? I feel like this is just bullying, but okay. Oh, tragically, I think she's out of money. So she can't actually uh, buy her way out of prison anymore. No, she spent everything she had buying her way out of prison last time. Okay, we're going to leave her in prison because that means the war's going to be over. And okay... The legendary Pega crusade to Jerusalem or whatever is continuing. So an old friend of mine has just given me a bunch of maps or something. Okay, what are you actually carrying in precisely? So, no, heavy snow blade. I'm not sure what you know about the Middle East, but you've been badly misinformed if you think I need a snow blade. I mean, I'm not going to say no. I mean, more swords, great. Leading the center plus 10% personal combat skill, 10, and monthly prestige, 0.5. Honestly, it kind of feels like the knife of the terrain, but much worse. Okay, Bulgaria. Whenever you'd like to wrap this one up, that'd be great. Because we've made some good money here, but I am actually losing it on a day-to-day -day basis now. Though I will say, if we are about to do a completely stupid pointless crusade, there we go. You have won. You're welcome. Bloody hell. Next time, just 10 minutes, just 10 minutes, could maybe you deal with your own problems. The time has come for us to move into enemy territory. Has it? Are, are we 100% sure about this, guys? Guys, I'm not... I'm not 100% sure this is a good idea. Like, at all, actually. Could we maybe rethink this? Like, okay, how's the, how's the thing going? Pope Stephanus is winning. I'm not going to deny that's, that's true. But what are we actually, what are we actually doing right now? Okay, so we'll find their most experienced warriors and show them what it means to be Greek, I declare. Everyone shall know our name. She's not... She's not Greek. She's she's Russian. And okay, this is this is fine. This is all fine. This is a weird thing that's happening right now, but I'm glad it's happening. If this is how I die, it's going to be a cocking glorious end. Yes, together we are stronger. Greeks together and also sometimes Russians. And this is going to be it's going to be great, all right? We're making some good ass progress here. I'm now out and about seeing the world, but what am I actually doing while I'm while I'm out there. I don't know what's happening. I mean, are we not actually doing, like, a proper crusade? Are we just gonna show up with our best warriors in Jerusalem and ask to take them on one-on-one? -on -one? I've no bloody clue what's happening at this point, but I'm really fascinated in what it's gonna bloody be. Also, there's a small uprising going on down in Ikea, but doesn't really involve me in the slightest. And oh, blimey. Okay, uh, something involves me. Is that you just, um... Raising up your troops to smash the hell out of this. I'm guessing it is. Fine, I feel really sorry for you guys, by the way. That's that's not going to end well for you. Also, as this whole having children with the bloodline woman thing isn't really working. Okay, I'm literally on a raid in foreign territory right now. I'm just going to give my personal combat dueling thing a bit of a boost. Up to 75, just for safety. How many troops does the Empire have uh, available right now? Oh... Oh dear. Okay, so Sophia just died, but then again she did have a personal combat skill of zero. 
it's possible we shouldn't have actually sent the most senior members of the society because I'm gonna be honest, the most senior members of the society have this habit of being like old and actually not very good. Um, this guy's fine. Hopefully we've brought him. Others will carry on the legendary journey. I've no idea what the cock is happening. Here we go. Legendary journey. Having spent the evening drinking and talking around a campfire with my traveling companions, I finally bid them good night. On my way back to my sleeping spot, I pause. Leaning against the fallen trees, a man tending to nature's call. An enemy, I yell, more surprised than alarmed. I mean, is it? I mean, I'll duel him. I feel like I can take him. Well, it's going to be close. I'm glad I took that war. This is uh, close, but apparently I'm making great progress on the legendary journey of stabbing a urinating man in the back. Also, I'm incredibly drunk right now. Brilliant. My opponent staggers backwards in surprise because he's, you know, urinating on a tree. But I just stick the knife of terrain into his chest. So, um, he's now dead. Was... Was he important? I don't know. I've just kind of found this random guy who... Well, I guess he works for these guys. If we could take out their leader, that'd be great. But hooray for me. This gets me up to 35 jewels in my life. This is amazing. And the Crusades are just hanging out down over here. There's an elephant floating around. Brilliant. Love a good elephant. Oh, we're in camp, but we hear some rustling. And a man is leaning over me eyeing me suspiciously with a weapon at my throat, and he's won a hell of a duelist. Okay, so uh, I challenge the scout to a duel. I'm gonna be honest, I feel like we might die. And well, this might be a nice way of burying the hatchet with own. Um, Rodislav, I'm gonna be honest, he's not gonna be that helpful, but we'll give it a go. I'll accept a cost of prestige, all right, because I feel like it's gonna take a uh, Two on one to make this one happen. And if Rodislav ends up dead, good. I hated that guy. Okay, apparently we did just successfully fight off the scout together. Even though he was better than both of us. And old Poison Tooth is cocking useless. Mainly because I kind of cut off his... Did I cut off his hand? I can't remember. I did something bad to him anyway. And we've also got ourselves a man wrestling a lion. Interesting. He is a hunter. Story checks out. Okay. I'm a better duelist than him, so we will take this guy on. Hooray for me. So, with the trees as our audience and the only witness to my deed, I have soon seen to pierce his face. Beautiful. So, I've got a swollen wrist, so... Okay, a little bit of a penalty, but two more kills here. I really feel like I'm just basically going around murdering the hell out of everybody for, like... No reason. I'm just going around being a dick right now. This is like basically a dick pilgrimage and I love it. Okay, personal combat skill is now 69 and I am wounded, but I was already wounded. I feel like I'm going to die out here and I am fine with that. Though none of these people are counting towards murder or execution, which is very annoying. Also, it is a concern that I'm beginning to feel like the crusade is faltering right there. How is this crusade going, by the way? I'm worried that they're losing, and I'd like them to win. I'd really like them to win. Technically, they're ahead. But I can't see the details because I'm not privy to the war. Then again, was this bit of land always independent? I don't remember this bit of land being independent. And more people who we need to actually uh, take care of here. So, okay. I could hand this over to Rodislav, but yeah, I'd lose Brave. I'm not going to lose Brave. Okay, I am technically stronger than this guy. So I'm literally just travelling town to town saying, Hey, who's your strongest guy? I'll kick his ass. So uh, we got this guy right here. Hunter, Brave, good fighter in general. I'm still technically stronger than him. So screw it. Give it a flipping go. And he lunges at me, dignity on his face. I parry immediately, defending myself well, judging by the excited cheers of our spectators. But at the end of it, the crowd has grown still, the streets flowing with the blood of their champion. Is he dead, by the way? Yeah, he's dead. So that's... It's a lot more dead people. Was I any more wounded, by the way? Yes, I am. I'm now actually down to 52. I picked up... Oh, a severe injury. Okay, um... 
I don't know how much longer I can do this at this point. I am literally 67 years old, running around the Middle East, just murdering people for a laugh. Seriously, I need to go home and rest for a bit. I've been following a rumour trying to track down what's supposed to be the most feared fighter in the entire Empire. A deadly fencer. Okay, he isn't, but okay. He is an impaler, which is kind of like a fencer in a way, but like not the traditional... He's not very good. I mean, I'm happy just to kick his ass. I mean, it feels like this might be the last fight. Because it's saying here, the legendary journey is over if I say no. So, screw it. Let's just kick this guy's ass. And uh, turns out to be not too difficult. A jewel for the legends. Neither of us were dressed like this. Like, I wear a bear. That's what I do. So, beneath the disguise of a poor and wretched elder, an athletic and statuesque person donned in fanciful armor. He lashes at me with a silvery sword, and I almost scream in surprise. When it is over, I am bloody and out of breath. But, I do win. Now I've got a swollen ankle, everything. Mardi the lion dies, beautiful. I'm wounded again. This guy's dead. Are we done with this journey? I really feel like I need to go and just like lie down for a minute. I have got very dangerously low health for a 67 year old. Oh for goodness sake Bulgaria, not again. Next, a local tournament where I need to take on Khalil the Giant and I'm getting worried here because I'm getting more and more battered. My doctor's not here, I'm not healing off my wounds. If I give up, I go home in disgrace. We're not doing it. We're either winning this thing or we're dying out here. So come on, let's flip and do this and... Okay, someone's yelling, you die now. But he fails to hit me, bites the ground, the earth shakes. He moves to lift again. I strike. The crowd falls silent. This is getting really, really cocky dangerous. Admittedly, I was already severely wounded, so I think I'm not getting any worse, and... Okay, High Chief Haskar's trying to tell me to stop bloody risking my life. I'm gonna be honest, I'm going out on a High Haskar. It's fine, I'm cool with this. Yeah, personal combat skill is now holding at 54, because I'm already both wounded and severely injured, so it can't actually go down any further, but... I am getting slightly better over time because every duel I'm undertaking is giving me a little bit more in the way of personal combat skill. So I might be able to drive that up a little bit into the high 50s, but this is pretty much all I can do for the time being. Except for one thing, of course. I could give up strategist for duelist. Here we go. Swap it round. Focus on personal combat. I need this to keep me alive. I think that takes a little while to arrive though, so I'm not sure whether there'll be time to get that in play before the next opponent shows up. Ah, no! I have picked it up immediately. Strash just took a while to arrive, but now it's an instant swap over. Oh my. Well now, now I'm back to kicking ass and taking names. It's flipping over. We've made it home. And have I just got a bloodline? I think I've just got a flipping bloodline. Okay, the blood of a legend. Upon my return to Zeta, warriors and commoners are like swoon when they see you. One woman faints as you ride by with your entourage. The whole castle has been dressed in celebratory banners. And your friend Euphemia greets you with a smile. The bards will sing of your accomplishments for generations to come. They say you took down an army of a hundred men and wild lions. Okay, that's... It's a bit of an ex- Yes, yes, that's precisely how it happened. We received news that some of you were taken captive and uh, the woman's words trail off. She composes herself. My lord, welcome home. The champions of Peyron are singing a song of battle. It's melody inviting you to celebration. 500 prestige, renowned hero, morale up, monthly prestige up, sex appeal up. I'm getting lucky tonight. General opinion up as well. That's really useful because everyone hates me right now because I've been murdering too many people. Like, the bad people, not the good people. Okay, I am now cocking swimming in prestige. Let's look at my bloodline here. So, uh, dutiful brute's blood. Prestige up, personal combat skill up. Characters have smiths strive to please them. Well, that's nice. So, does that go down automatically or... 
Yes, it does. So it does get retroactively applied. I flipping love it. So, uh, yeah, Hector has now got that too. Sadly, I can't change out of War Focus for the next, uh, four odd years. Which is a shame, because I'd really like to do that right now. I really could do with, um, seeking some, some treatment from, like, you know, my doctor. I'm just gonna send my doctor a bit of gold. Can't actually, uh, seek treatment, because this isn't an illness, it's just an injury. But just in case, I'm gonna send my doctor a nice bit of, uh, gold. Just for safety. Oh, and Hector, what's this? A son. A son, you say? Well, this is, this is marvellously good news. Congratulations, Hector. My heir has got himself, yeah, four children, three daughters, and a son so far. This is, this is good. This is really, really damn good. Now, the big thing we need to watch for is the crusade. And so, a great journey has come to an end. And I think there's only one fair way we could mark this day. Peyron the Wise, you have earned a double beard. Hang on, where's the double beard? You have now deserved this. That's a decent double beard. It's not bad. It's not bad. Maybe there's a better one. Hang on. That's the one. I think that's it. Oh, hang on. Separate moustache or built in? No, I think kind of built in. There we flipping go. You have earned your father's double beard. All right, you have fought long and hard. You are literally the leader of the champions of Payrun. Leon is looking down at you with pride, Payrun. So, so much pride. Right, Payrun is alive, but he's 67 and he's really badly injured. So, uh, I can't imagine Payrun the Wise of Serbia is going to be with us for too much longer. But... There are a few things I would like to do before he passes on, ladies and gentlemen. Including, obviously, helping out Bulgaria. A cocking gen. We just need to get rid of that bloody woman. Because it's the same woman, again, who's rising up. In a matter of years, Hungary will be up for grabs. We could go and put someone nice and sympathetic on the throne of Hungary. Very, very nice indeed. And uh, we have got so, so... Cocking many weak claims that we could push. So, uh, yeah, we need to go and have a little bit of a think about uh, how much of this we want to try and do. There might be an awful, awful lot of territory we could grab through all of these claims. I mean, every single one of these 12 claims has like five sub claims as well. There's, there's a lot we could do, all right? So yes, yeah, some difficult choices to make next time, ladies and gentlemen, including, and most importantly of all, keeping a very, very close eye over here on the Crusade. Because uh, if this dynasty starts running into uh, any trouble whatsoever, I want to jump in with a holy war over here. I don't really have enough troops, but maybe with some mercenaries, uh, we might be able to make it happen. We shall have to see about that very, very soon indeed. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been Crusader Kings 2. Thank you very much, and goodbye. No, this no, this no, guy's no, enjoying no. that. This guy's enjoying his elephant a bit too much. <laughs> oh my god. In Fair Verona, we set our scene. Oh my god, Becky, <laughs> look at her butt. It is so big. They've managed to glitch inside one of the buildings. Elephants in the rear!